Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo. Maybe Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Alan Taylor will win. She's riding the new horse out of her champion, Flo. Just one of her babies for baby Flo. For low to the Flo. Hush money. Hush money. Oh, the hush money. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. We are here in the barn um, because we're gearing up to go to a bunch of rodeos. You guys are going to come along with us, but first, we are going to load up and head to the Ruby Buckle in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Now, this is really exciting for us because um, we have a whole bunch of horses that are by incentive stallions. Right now in the barrel racing world, the stallions are really pulling their weight with these huge incentives. Pink Buckle, Ruby Buckle, Riata Buckle. A whole bunch of them. So my breeding program has evolved over time to include a lot of these stallions so that we can run at these millions of dollars that have come into our industry, which we're so excited about. So we're grateful for the pioneers in our industry that have made this all possible because getting to run for a whole lot of money outside of rodeo is really nice because the ground is generally really amazing. Drag after five, you can stay in one spot for a couple of days, you can make a couple of runs. Um, it's just a really great environment where you guys see us on the road and we're driving for 20 hours and the truck breaks down and we're tired and we're hungry and we're worn out and all these different things. So I'm gonna try to hit a bunch of these incentivized events this year, especially because I'm a brand new mom and going to these is just so much more comfortable. Poppy can go, we can all settle in for a couple of days. So. If you didn't know, Blaze and Jetalina and Traffic Guy are incentive stallions. They are pink and ruby buckle stallions. And this ruby buckle event, you have to have a horse that's sired by one of the stallions and paid up in full to the incentive. So our horses are, we're gonna enter up. by design. What? And oh, by. and slick by design. We are paid up and we're gonna go run at the ruby buckle with like 1,500 other people. And we're really, really excited. So let's take you on the way. We're gonna take four horses. Okay, so the first horse of the day to run is Flobot. This is um, part of my comeback challenge, which I did in conjunction with our Horse Boss Challenge. It's a very expensive run, but I'm treating the next 10 runs, which is the recipe in our comeback challenge. Every single run counts a different way. And so um, if you're in the challenge, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, you'll just know this as run number six. So this is run number six for Flobot and I, of trying to figure it out as we make a comeback. So check out Flobot and I at the Ruby Buckle. run it's a standard pattern 1804 absolutely gorgeous I'm super oh, oh, happy for 004 18004 super happy with the run super excited um, to run low low next so let's go get her saddled Okay, Lolo, of course, came through with the prettiest, most relaxed, easy run. And in true twin fashion, if you didn't know Flobot and Lolo are twins, um, she ran an 18.005, Flobot 18.004. So, and that's not the first time. That they yeah, no, they've done that a lot with Cody on one and me on the other. Like, it's, we have been like. Multiple times. Yeah, all the time. So, anyway, they're super cool. I'm super grateful for that. Now it is Cody's turn to run. Yeah, go Cody. Yeah.
Okay, Cody blew us out of the water. She absolutely blew us out of the water, making a pro rodeo run, clocking a 17.3. The barrel went down, who cares? She blew us out of the water, and we are just always amazed at her progress and her talent. Such a great run. Congrats to her and Mojo, just like out of 1,200, she's in the top of the 1D, and that's so cool. All right, it's time for Hush Money and I to go make a run. She is sired by Slick by Design, and of course her mom is Baby Flo, which is really cool. All three of mine are Baby Flo babies. Um, so we're like 10 years deep into this legacy of trying to like, you know, breed these horses and have these foals and get them finished and get them trained. It's just very cool to haul three Baby Flow babies to any event. Um, I now, I think I could haul like five or six to an event at this point. So it's really exciting. All right, wish us luck. Okay, well, I would have rather done what Cody did and run a 17.3 and hit a barrel. I didn't do that, but I know for tomorrow exactly what I need to do. I decided to work my horse at the third barrel and like just go ahead and kind of exhibition, if you will, to correct one thing. The biggest problem is with my riding in one spot because I'm just a little bit weak right now. My timing isn't perfect, but that's why we did a comeback challenge and I'm going to make sure and do a little bit better tomorrow. So, you know, what's crazy about this whole race is like I was number... 14, 81, 144, and Cody was number 587. So it's been a long day. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the second round of the Ruby Buckle in reverse order. Okay, Cody's gonna go first, so let's check out her run on Mojo, see what they get done. All right, well, she almost successfully picked a barrel up. It's a really big deal. That's what made her clock a slower time. So she was trying to set the barrel up. Um, she is in that place, and I kind of gave her a little pep talk in the back, and I'm going to give you the same thing. When you are crossing into new levels, you hit ditches in between every peak. There's a valley, and in the valley is like a test. And if you can get through that test, you get to see the next peak and the next peak. Cody's gone through, you know, not riding, not running barrels, running barrels, not able to make the barrel pattern in jackpot, making the pattern, not able to clock fast, winning in the 1D, like all these different peaks. And now she's at consistently winning every single time she goes down the alleyway. She's right here at hitting the barrel to consistently win every time she goes down the alleyway. So we know what the next valley looks like. It's easier said than done to kind of hang on through the dips of your career. But that's my TED talk for today. Make sure to hang in there because a, a, a ditch is only there for just a learning season and to like build character and then boom, once you're deserving of that next valley, it'll come to you. So I'm excited to see this whole next year for Cody at all of these events. All right, it is my turn to run Hush Money, so let's see if I can keep those barrels up.
Well, not only do we keep the barrels up, but we clocked way faster with a 17.6. Super, super happy with Hush Money. She's always been one of my go-tos and so fun for me to run. So it's time for me to run Lolo. <laughs> Now it's Lolo and Hush being really close together. 17.6, 17.6, I'm super happy with them. Um, it's going to be a while before I am able to figure out exactly which one to run someplace and Cody bounces on and off of Lolo also. We're just gonna have to figure out like, okay, this rodeo she's gonna run at this point and I'm gonna run at this point. It's just really fun. It's a great problem to have. So we know how blessed we are and we're so grateful. Now it's time for Flowbot. Power, 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 power. Okay, so I tried to be a hero and make run number seven of my 10 comeback runs way better, and instead, I played it just a little bit too hardcore and I caught the first barrel. I decided to pull up and just kind of school him through at the second and third. I never recommend doing that. I did that for a reason. I have an injured leg and I was worried I was gonna hit it. Um, so don't ever pull up. I always like to keep my horses going fast through the pattern um, and I just pulled up, which I never, never, never do. Um, so I highly recommend you never doing that because giving your horse kind of a release after doing something you don't want them to do is not ideal. Okay, so our friend Lexi Smith has, you can go follow her on Instagram. She is Lexi Smith Media, and she actually donated social media photos at the Ruby Buckle, which is so cool. Go follow her, her pictures are absolutely amazing. Um, we shot with her last year, I believe, in Arizona. Um, I've used a bunch of her pictures, she's amazing. But she makes ghost videos, and we wanna show you some of the ghost videos that she made for us, um, and she can make them for you too when you go to an event that she's shooting where you can compare your run with the winner's run or your run with your next run or in our case all of our runs together so let's check out some of the ghost videos that she did for us I hope you guys love this event. I'm super excited because a lot of the horses that we raise here were finally to the point in the breeding program where we're able to offer these horses for sale to the public. In conjunction with the Ruby Buckle is an app called Gold Buckle Horse Sales. In that app, you're gonna be able to virtually bid on some of my horses for sale in the June 4th sale, which qualifies them for an additional $100,000 side pot. If you buy a horse of mine through there, you're able to qualify for the 100 grand to go on and not only qualify for whatever incentives that they qualify for, but also this 100 grand for purchasing, it, purchasing them through the Gold Buckle Horse Sales app. So go get registered on that app and get ready for June 4th. I'm gonna put four horses in that sale. There's x-rays provided that you can go ahead and look at you can check them out you can give us a call you can do all sorts of things um, and have full-length videos that you guys can see on all of them we're selling two yearlings and two horses that are uh, three years old so all of them are incentivized and absolutely amazing and I'm sure you've seen them on this vlog before so you're gonna want to get your hands on one of these horses as we begin to finally open up the dynasty to everyone else I hope that you guys love this vlog make sure to subscribe ding the notification bell, and as always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.